Not quite the 4th of July, but close enough in Worcester. Take a look at this. The city held its fireworks show tonight. Patriotic, loud, brilliantly colorful. This was absolutely a treat on mm. a gorgeous night. Eric Fisher joins us again. And Eric, boy, they couldn't have picked a better evening for this fireworks show. And it looks like we've got some good nights ahead. I mean, how often? I mean, towns, you know, spread it out over several days. We're going to have four straight days here with just no weather issues. You don't have to worry about inversions where smoke doesn't want to spread out all that much. You don't have to worry all that much about rain or storms or planting. It's just, it's just nice. Nice warm nights. Nice afternoon today. Hit 87 in Boston. A little bit warmer than the average, but typical stuff at this time of the year. You may have looked up this evening and said, what is going on in the clouds? There are holes in the clouds. It looked like Swiss cheese. These are hole punch clouds or fall streaks. Same thing, and they're caused by airplanes. So if the conditions are right, usually you need alto cumulus clouds or cirrocumulus clouds, something in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. They're full of super-cooled water droplets. Water can exist under 32 degrees. They don't freeze unless they have a reason. The airplane provides the reason. Sometimes they leave ice crystals in their wake, all those droplets start to freeze, and then they start to fall. And so you end up with a hole in the cloud deck with a little curtain of cirrus clouds down through the middle of it. This picture from Michael Gorin over Sharon tonight. This one from Stephanie Viva over Falmouth. There's a sun dog in there as well. And so some interesting optics on display. Thanks, everyone, for sending in some of those pictures tonight. Mild evening. Temperature is still in the 70s in some towns. It's just one of those lazy, hazy summer patterns. No real records expected over the next few days, but it will certainly have that July feel. Now, tomorrow, lots of sunshine. We'll warm up quickly. Sun rises at 512. Not a whole lot of wind tomorrow, so it's going to start to get pretty hot as we head toward lunchtime and into the afternoon. We'll add a few degrees on top of what we've seen for the last couple of days. A little cooler at the coastline as a light onshore breeze develops there. We'll be up around 90 for inland spots and 80s at the coastline for tomorrow. Excellent beach day for heading out to the shore, kicking off the weekend a little bit early. Water temperatures are mostly in the 60s. We're going to start to see more 70s here as the week progresses and lots of sunshine, some muggier air. That's going to help the ocean to respond a little bit for us. In terms of the fireworks forecast, we mentioned tonight was great. They had Harbor Fest in Boston as well. The next three, uh, very similar. Well into the 70s around fireworks time, not a whole lot of wind, and mainly clear skies. Every town is a go. For 4th of July, looking at some low 90s for inland areas, 80s at the coastline. Very warm day. Best chance of a heat wave developing this week, three straight days in the 90s, would be for towns off to the northwest side of Boston here, especially toward the Merrimack Valley. We may see a couple do it. So 4th of July will quickly jump up through the 80s in the morning for any parades or observances right around 90 for the barbecue in the afternoon make sure there's some water nearby and then for the fireworks staying very warm on the 4th of July evening two points will be noticeable generally in the low 60s during the day for the next few days but the real spike is going to be on Saturday a much more tropical field there Chamber of Commerce is pleased for the Cape and the islands near 80 lots of sunshine for the next three days and for the lakes region just a little bit warmer well into the 80s here for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So where do we bring back a chance of rain? That is going to be on Saturday. All the action on Friday is to the west. Saturday, not a washout, but scattered thunderstorms are likely here. It's going to be really humid on Saturday. Dew points way up into the 70s here. It is the most tropical day of our forecast. That front will get offshore, though, on Sunday with mostly sunny skies, much lower humidity, and it looks to be a beautiful day. So for a change here, it's a mostly dry forecast and a very warm one as well. 80s on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And every inch of a July forecast for us here. Liam and Lisa, back to you. Love it, Eric. Thank you. This